Hi, this is Kathy Shantler with Bryan College, and this video is going to take you through some steps on how to make adjustments to a Microsoft Word 2007 or higher document so that your tests, your musts, and your transcriptions follow the guidelines required by the Bryan College Grading Department. First of all, you, re you will receive your transcription template from your instructor. It may or may not look like what you see on the screen in front of you. This is the one that I hand out during my classes. It includes a lot of information on how to properly set up the document. The first thing that you want to be sure that you do is put your identifying information coming out so that it comes out of the flush right hand side of the document. You will see Fast Fingers Court Reporter. That would be your name. The next line, put your instructor's name and the class that you're in, the theory class or speed class that you're in, the date, the name of the dictation. If you are in theory, your instructor will usually let you know what that transcription should be called. If it is a speed test, be sure that you put the speed test number as well as what words per minute the speed is, since there's many different speeds out there with the same number. And then the STEN-Ed refers to the theory program that you are learning, STEN-Ed. To ensure that these are coming out justified to the right index, up here in the paragraph section, you will see that I have highlighted a line text right. That means that everything you type comes out of the right margin. You will then skip a line. This is the only place in your document you will ever skip a line. Also, let me point out, you will notice everything on this document is double spaced. Any documents not double spaced are immediately DQ'd. They must be double spaced. To ensure that you have double spacing, again up here in the paragraph section, you will see a box that has arrows going up and down with some lines. This is your line spacing. At the very beginning of your document, be sure that you click on this to ensure you see 2.0. If it is anything other than 2.0, change it to 2.0. Also, be sure down here at the bottom of this where it says add space before, before paragraph and add space after paragraph, if either one of those says the word remove space, please click on it so that it says add space because that means that these have been activated and it's, you need to click on it to remove. You do not want to ever add spaces before or after a paragraph. So again, let me repeat that. If either one of these says remove space, please click on it so that it then has removed it and it now you have to click on it to add. Okay, so you skip a line and then move down to your next line. This is where your dictation will start, your transcription. You need to click on this line and be sure that it is now up here in the paragraph section that you are align text left, meaning everything is now going to come out of the left margin. This information here, whatever you show on your document, if there's anything here, you can go through and highlight it all and delete it. And then this is where you will start your transcription. Be sure to go up to the font box. Check that your, your font is at Courier New. Nothing else is accepted at Bryan College. It must be Courier New, and it must be a size 12. If you see, like here, how my B is highlighted, or an I, or a U, if any of those are highlighted, please click on them and turn them off. It is not to be bold, italicized, or underlined. Again, you can highlight any information you have in the body and delete it and begin typing your transcription. Now remember, the first line of each paragraph should be indented five spaces. Okay, so I'll delete this over so you can see. One, two, three, four, five. Begin typing. Okay, line spacing double. Go through, type your paragraph. Remember a paragraph is four to six sentences unless you can tell where the topic changes. Then you will go down to the next line, indent five spaces, and start typing the next paragraph.
Bryan College does not allow any transcriptions to be all one paragraph if they are more than four to six sentences. So if this is a five minute test or longer, you must have paragraphs. Okay, do your best to figure out where the paragraphs should be. Do not skip lines between paragraphs. Just move to the next line, indent five spaces. Remember, trust your notes and only type up what's in your notes. Do not add words. Use your spell check on your computer. Anything that you see that's underlined in red or green, put your cursor on it and then go through and do a right click on your mouse and see why is it underlined. What is it telling you? Is it wrong? Is it grammatically incorrect, etc. Proofread for proper grammar and punctuation and be sure to take pride in everything you type and submit. You are professional court reporters in training. You want your document to look like something that you would be willing to get paid for. All right. If you have any questions, please be sure to talk to your instructor or contact the help desk at Bryan College. Thanks for watching.